Top 5 Guns That Make the Best Investment Many people are saying that guns aren't a good investment. And as much as I want to argue against them the whole day, there's a good chance that they won't change your mind. For gun enthusiasts, shooters, preppers, and law enforcement personnel, guns have a lot of value. And it is just within the scale or limitation of monetary value. Guns are primary weapons used for protection, hunting, self-defense, and competitions. As long as you have a high-quality gun, you will be able to do what you intend to with them in the first place. But let's talk about actual investment. What guns hold value as time passes by? Hello, everyone. This is Faison, and in this video, I have listed the top guns that make the best investment. Stick until the end so that you'll know all your options. Of course, feel free to object if you think that there are better choices here. Before we start, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe buttons. It helps the channel a lot. Now let's get back to the video. Smith & Wesson Model 29 The Smith & Wesson Model 29 is a high-quality revolver. Because it is a revolver, it is evident that it has solid reliability. It doesn't have many moving parts, and its architecture is cold-hearted steel. Specifically, the Model 29 is a double-action, six-shooter revolver type. There was once a time when it was called the most powerful handgun. So that alone proves that this gun is far from being shabby, despite being in production for a long time already. One notable aspect of the Smith & Wesson Model 29 is that it was originally made for hunters. Because of its sheer firepower, it is an effective tool against large game animals. Eventually, the gun was adopted by law enforcement. The popularity of the Model 29 surged when it was featured in the Dirty Harry movie. After its theatrical release, there was a point where gun stores had difficulties keeping it in stock because of the high demand. Today, the Model 29 is still a venerable revolver. Its value increases over time, which is quite impressive. The average MSRP is $1,100, but you can find used models at a lower price. However, I've seen models of this gun that are sold at a staggering $4,000. Browning High Power The Browning High Power is an obvious choice here. After all, this is one of the most reliable pistols on the market. At the same time, keep in mind that this unit had been in production for more than 80 years before it was discontinued by Browning. Fortunately, it is technically still in production under specific licenses. One of the striking differences between the high powder and its contemporaries, such as the Luger and 1911, is capacity. Specifically, high power doubled the capacity of its competitors at 13 rounds. At its height, the high power was used by various military organizations in the world. In fact, I am confident in the claim that it is one of the widely adopted guns by different armed forces. For those who don't know, Browning sold the 1911 patents to Colt, which is the reason why Colt 1911 is considered to be the first authentic 1911. Because of this, Browning had to design a new firearm in the meantime. After the patents expired in the later parts of the 1920, various restrictions were gone, and this enabled Browning to incorporate several 1911 features to the high power. High power is an extremely popular handgun, so it is not surprising that you can see a lot of it today. But does this mean that it has lost its value? Nope. In fact, it is the opposite. Believe it or not, modern high powers have an MSRP that doesn't go lower than $1,000. You can see used options at $500, but their price can go as high as $1,000. Hence, if you want this gun, better prepare some bucks. Original or first production high powers could cost more than these figures. That's a guarantee. Colt 11. 1911 is one of the finest weapons out there. In the realm of handguns, it has a peerless rapport when it comes to reliability. In a market dominated by polymer pistols, steel handguns no longer receive the limelight they used in the past. But 1911 is different. Even after 100 years, this platform remains relevant and trusted by shooters. For a good return on investment, investing in 1911 is an excellent route to take. Among the 1911s in the market, the Colt 1911 is seemingly the most notable. Perhaps Colt is the one that got the blueprint right and made it even better. 1911 was introduced in the market 1911. It was actively used in the U.S. Armed Forces for quite some time. It was only in the mid-80s that 1911 was eventually replaced by the Beretta M9. Needless to say, the longevity of the 1911 in the gun market proved that its quality is similar to wine. It gets better over time. Whether you are an amateur or a professional shooter, 1911 remains to be a great firearm to wield. Right now, Colt 1911 has an MSRP of $900. You can get some other listings at $800 and I can't find other Colt 1911 that are priced lower than these figures. This is indicative that the gun's value is continually on the rise. Of course, there are 1911s built by other manufacturers. 
For custom 1911s, I recommend that you check out the Wilson Combat, Nighthawk Custom, and Dan Wesson. You could also visit the provisions of the Ed Brown Custom if that suits you. The Dan Wesson 1911 has an MSRP of around $1,200 to $1,400, so it is fairly expensive. However, that isn't the costliest. The Nighthawk Custom has the 1911 Talon priced at $3,500, while the Ed Brown Custom 1911 is almost $3,000. The resale value for these guns should give you admirable profits if you decide to sell them. 6 Hour P226 One of the determining factors that determine the overall holding value of a gun is its military use. Specifically, if the weapon is used by the military, then it has a better holding value and, of course, a good return on investment. Because of that, it is pretty clear that the Sig Sauer P226 is one of the most qualified choices here. Of course, we know the story here. The Sig Sauer P226 has accomplished all the testing requirements under the XM9 service pistol trials of the U.S. military. However, it was still toppled by the Beretta M9. But does this mean that the Beretta M9 is a bad gun? No, not at all. Many shooters and gun enthusiasts always believe that the Sig Sauer P226 has a more impeccable and reliable design. This one features a double-action firing mechanism that enables its users to handle sudden encounters. From its inception, SIG continued to develop the P226 as one of the most reliable handguns on its production line. Today, you can see the P226 being used by some of the finest armed forces in the entire world. The elite British SAS and Navy SEALs are among the biggest fans of the P226, and it is not surprising why. There aren't that many variants of the SIG Sauer P226 in the market today. However, they are notable ones considering their superior accuracy and consistency for personal defense and competition. We have the P226 Dark as one of the most notable variants of the P226. One way of knowing the overall value of the gun is its standard price in the gun market. Right now, the Sig Sauer P226 has an average MSRP of $1,400. If you were diligent enough, you will find brokers and dealers that sell the Sig Sauer P226 at a much lower price. But hey, the point here is established. The Sig Sauer P226 is a high-quality pistol that has an exceptional return on investment, especially if you take good care of it. Glock 17 or Glock 19. Of course, this entry is a little bit eye-raising considering that these two are polymer pistols. And when it comes to longevity, we all know that steel pistols are undeniably better. But keep in mind that Glock 17 and Glock 19 have been in the market for roughly 40 years already. And until now, they are still popular handguns, so that's something that you should take into account. The Glock 17 was developed for the Austrian Armed Forces. Specifically, it replaced their former standard sidearm, Walther P38. During that era, the polymer pistol always received a bad light. But with some polishing and upbraiding, the Glock 17 was already included in the arsenals of the British and Norwegian militaries. Surely enough, the Glock 17 and Glock 19 aren't just popular for the armed forces. They are also a dream of many civilian shooters due to their lightweight, reliable, and durable construction. Furthermore, it is easy to configure and upgrade these handguns. Meanwhile, the Glock 19 is typically used as a concealed carry weapon because of its compact construction. But both the Glock 17 and Glock 19 have venerable qualities in the world of self-defense, competitions, and ranges. Investing in either the Glock 19 or 17 is just good for the wallet. Both these weapons have a timeless performance and reliability. They have a standard MSRP of $600 to $650, so they aren't that cheap. But then again, their value might increase several folds in the foreseeable future. And that completes our list. If you want to see more informative videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.